For we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. But condense, if you will, the 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. Stated in these terms, we know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of them, advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals to cover them. Then about 10 years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his cave. And now if America's new spacecraft succeeds in reaching Venus, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. This is a breathtaking pace. And such a pace cannot help but create new air as it dispels old. New ignorance, new problems, new dangers. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high cost and hardship as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And this generation does not intend to founder in the backwater of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. But with instruments of knowledge and understanding, yet the vows of this nation can only be fulfilled if we in this nation are firm, and therefore we intend to be firm. Whether it will become a force for good or ill depends on man. And only if the United States occupies a position of preeminence can we help decide whether this new ocean will be a sea of peace or a new terrifying theater of war. I do not say that we should or will go unprotected against the hostile issues of space any more than we go unprotected against the hostile use of land or sea. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are willing to postpone, and one we intend to win on the other two. In the last 24 hours, we have seen facilities now being created for the greatest and most complex exploration in their history. We have felt the ground shake and the air shattered by the testing of a Saturn C-1 booster rocket. Many times as powerful as the Atlas which launched John Graham. As tall as a 40 inch stone structure, as wide as a thick rock, and as long as two legs of this field. But we do not intend to stay behind and in this decade we shall make up and move ahead. Furthest outpost on the old frontier of the West will be the furthest outpost on the new frontier of science and space. Houston, though I realize that this is in some measure an act of faith and vision, for we do not now know what benefits await us. But if I would say, my fellow citizens, that we shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston, a giant rock more than 300 feet tall, the length of this football field, made of new metal alloys, some of which 
Because I'm not yet getting better. Thank you for a very good and ready. Several times more than a pedal to throw. Put it together with a precision better than the finest part. Carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communication, food, and survival. On an untried mission, to an unknown celestial body, and then in turn it takes me to Earth. We enter in the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, or to speed about half that on the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before the stick is out, and then we must be home.